Last time on Rockin' the Oldies. Yeah, you don't have a shot on him, but let's go ahead and try that. Same thing. Okay. Good enough. Next turn. Here comes that tentaculate. Alright, he killed the other tentaculate for us. Awesome! Greetings and salutations to the denizens of the Cyberdog Nation, the Redditors of the XCOM subreddit, and all the peoples of YouTube and the interwebs. This is Ivan Dogovich, rocking the oldies with the 95th episode of Let's Play Retro XCOM Tear from the Deep. In the last episode, we worked our way into the second level of the alien artifact site. We took over the minds of a number of of weak-willed aliens and we are going to continue that and finish off this this um, mission today. Um, we've controlled some Tesos, some Tentaculates, we spotted some Hallucinoids, uh, some Aquatoids, uh, all of the above and this really nasty zone has become a much easier place to deal with. So that's good. Now, we just did a next turn, so let's pop the door open and see if we can spot anybody. Now, I did want to get my displacer over here. Aha! Yes, I remember you. You were one of our guys. And um, we have been using uh, and abusing these poor aliens to great effect. Um, and I have no qualms doing that, and we will continue to do that. Just because it's a good thing to do. Alright, so you see a Tesoth, which was the guy we captured down there before, and you see the Tentaculate, which we also captured before. And I think what we'll do is we will take another couple. Now, the last Aquatoid, I think we had him shoot at you last time. Gosh, this guy cannot hit for anything. He just, he's, what's his accuracy? Oh gosh, his firing accuracy is 33. <laughs> oh, perfect. Okay, well, that kind of explains a few things. He's kind of worthless when it comes to actually um, control, uh, being a productive member of our fighting team. Now, I do want to get um, a couple more guys around. I do want to clear a bit more of the area. So, let's get some guys out there doing that. Uh, Jay Perro. Uh, let's come on out over here to the peak. Now, we popped upstairs with a taste off last mission, but, um, and we took a look around, and upstairs looked like this. We peeked out here, but we didn't really clear this whole area. And what we've also got going on is this extends down a bit over to this other area. So we could have um, some more aliens. There's a tentaculate somewhere down here, I believe, and a hallucinoid somewhere down here. Um, and there's some upstairs. Now, this is also the artifact location. So there's two levels here. It comes up. And then there's usually an alien or two hanging out in this area, and then we get up into the actual control room, which is right out over here. And if you just want to destroy what you what your task to destroy, you can like launch. You could launch a, a DPL up here, or throw a grenade in there and blow it up. You go back down again. So it's like sitting right above this area. We could launch a DPL, bam, and blow that up. But we're going to clear it out, and we're going to continue to abuse and use our native guides. Okay, having said all that, long-winded, let me get back here. Let's just grab this taste off again. Now, I was thinking about it, and I am guessing that there is, indeed, another bad guy. Now, what we've got over here is the edge of the map. And when we approached this last time, we came in from this direction, the, uh, the way the, the site was set up. It was a little bigger down here. And when we came over here, I don't want you to get too far. There was a hidey hole, like right here, and I think there's a tentacular in there. So, can you come there and look there? You did, and you did. Ha! Yes, I was right. So maybe this Tesoth will lure this Tentaculate out. I would like that. Um, because 
I just, they're, they're bad. I'd, I'd rather see them all and deal with them all. Okay, so Aquatoid, you couldn't shoot that tentacular. How about Displacer? Can you? Um, yeah, let's try a Snapshot. You've got the time limits. And he took a hit and didn't die. That's amazing. There's, they can be so stinking tough. They can be so stinking tough. Now that Displacer has a very powerful sonic uh, weapon system. And yeah, it only knocked like 30 off. So one of the things that's interesting about this is that the damage that is applied. So let's see, can can I look at this? Uh, no, not exactly. I think I have to look at the UFOpedia entry. To yeah, I can't really just pull up um, the stats on the weapon. But if you look at the UFOpedia entry, it tells you that the damage of a sonic rifle is, say, 60 sonic. And I don't know if that's correct or not, I'm just making the number up. Now, what happens in Tear From The Deep is when you hit, if you hit, you apply damage. Anywhere from 50% of the damage up to 150% of the damage. So you could get 30 to 90 with a... Uh, weapon that was strength 90 and I think that the strength of the sonic uh, cannon here on the displacer is around a hundred I think a sonic cannon is like 90 so when you've got critters like this that have um, native it's got uh, um, almost a hundred health and I think we found one that did have over 100 health the um, you know there's a chance even with the strongest weapons that you won't kill it um, and there's also a chance that you one-shot it, so it's just kind of kind of up in the air. Um, and the damage model in Terra from the Deep, 50 to 150, is a little different than UFO Defense, which was 0% to 200%. So in that case, you would have got anywhere from 0 damage to 120 damage. So anyway, that's all that. Okay, Tentaculate, what do I want to do with you? You've got that other tentaculate over there. I think I just want to move you back this way. Put you into the realm of we can stab you and kill you anytime we want. Because you're a nasty thing and we don't like nasty things to be around. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. And Mr. Bad News. Actually, why don't tentaculate come over there? Yeah. Mr. Bad News, come over here. Uh, who is this? Tom, you're not sporting a... Uh... Okay, so... I want to move right there. Iron, you can't get there because Tom's in the way, okay? Alright, um, Iron, if you face through the door, can you stab him? No, you can't. Okay, so just come through here. So between you guys... Oh, you did kill him, and we took a morale hit <laughs> for killing him. So that that uh, vibroblade did did the trick. That's all. Okay, good, good enough, good enough. Okay, so Pluto Dog, you've got eyes on there. Oh, yeah, and you can see the hallucinoid down the end of the aisle, and you don't have a shot. All right, just stuck back here. Okay, so we know the hallucinoids there. We took care of a tentaculate. There was another tentaculate somewhere over here. All right, I'm doing a lot of talking here. Uh, yeah, Tom. Tom was the one who faced and and suffered the rages and ravages of the tentaculates last time. So I'm glad we're able to pay them back in spades, as it were. Okay, Chibi. All right, let's just give you a little bit of practice. You can try to molecular control a part of this hallucinoid. Now, the funny thing is, you can actually gain control of like a quarter of a hallucinoid. Shoot, Barrett, why am I even worrying about this other tentaculate if maybe we can take control of it? Okay, we didn't, that's fine. Uh, Nightmare doesn't have another attack. Wintergrave has an attack. Let's try this. You can take a, a, a corner of a hallucinoid and sometimes control it, and sometimes you can't. One more time, Wintergrave. 
but if you get a control of a corner, you still don't have control of the whole beast. You have to get like all four pieces of it, which is kind of weird. All right, I think I'm good. Let's go. Next one. A lot of talking, a lot of exploration. We need to get this mission moving. Okay, go down, go down. Oh, you stinker. All right, he was scared. Didn't want to come out. All right, um, hello, hello. There you are, yes. Come this way. Come this way. And you can see a taste off. Yay. All right, how about there? Okay. Pluto cannot see the hallucinoid anymore. Um, iron. Iron. Come over here and kill that. Thank you. Yeah, I know he's screaming, but I don't care. So there's probably another guy over here, too. Or, okay, yeah. Then duck back there. And look back down there. Good. Okay, Mr. Bad News. Yeah. I hate this dude. I hate the Kentuckians. I know I've said this, and I'm going to continue to keep saying it. Look that way. I was describing last episode how I've been playing um, XCOM, open, open XCOM, which is based on the original game, and um, I will say this, that that game spoils you. Um, with Terror from the Deep and the original game, you really, really had to rely on almost, oh, you can see him, oh, he's closer. Oh, jeez, and yeah. Okay, snapshot it. Oh, not enough time units. Dang it. Hmm. Noto. Yay! We killed it. I was worried that we weren't going to kill it. And they can come do nasty things to you. They put like an electronic attack, electric attack on you, which is shock you and kill you. All right, anyway, what I'm saying is that Open XCOM spoils you because they've got like keyboard commands and, and uh, Terror from the Deep and UFO Defense really require you to mouse and click everything. But these other games are so much better for not requiring that. Okay, you know what? Displacer, come over here, and let's see, we can't see him in there, but maybe we'll draw him out. Okay, um, and Barrett. Let's come down and grab the taste off. Thank you. Ta uh, taste you can see the tentaculate. It's probably still the tentaculate. Yes, it is. Now, let's go check this other corner down to your level and come over here. Come over here. Is there a gallery up on this side? No, there's not, because that's the device room. Is there a taste off in this corner? We should see him if there is one, and I don't see him. So maybe there's not. Okay, so you're there. There's a taste off over there. Okay, I think we're pretty good. I think we're pretty happy with where people are. Yep. Alright. Good. Next turn. In movement. Okay. So you see a taste off. Big deal. Um, yeah. I'm just going to grab him again. We're going to have him do the dangerous stuff for us. Dangerous stuff. You know, I'm I'm really not into getting people killed if we don't need to right now. Over there. Okay. You spot that guy again. As we expect. Maybe he'll come down and attack you next turn. Go up a level, come peek in here, and look, look, it's, we're actually like right in its face. And there is nothing there, which is ideal. Come down, look this way. Now, oh, we've got this in the way. We may not, we probably not go to the shoot. No, we can't shoot into it. Okay, it's fine. I'm going to bring the displacer this way, and We'll probably take a shot at the tactic next time. Okay. The other thing is, I could just launch a torpedo in there and not worry about it. In fact, let's just do that. 
I'm tired of dancing with tentaculates. I'm tired of it. Well, I keep saying that and I keep going, no, let's try to mind control him. Yeah, let's try to mind control him. <laughs> because, you know, if you can, you should. Oh, he's quite a ways away. Alright, you had your chance, buddy. You had your chance. Now we're going to shoot you off. <laughs> Dis Disruptor Bulls Launcher. Because I'm so wishy-washy. I can't make up my mind. Alright, go this way. Go that way. Go this way. Go up a level. Yeah, over there. And then come over here. And then we've got long. And then we hit launch rocket. Yeah, launch rocket. Right. Instead of of uh, end turn. Zip, zip, zip. There we go. Because I just don't like it. Now, the interesting thing is, this takes off didn't take any damage. And we just blew up this huge thing. Because in Terror from the Deep, the explosions only take place on one level. Um, the cool thing about Open XCOM is that you can set the explosion height. <laughs> and you can set it to be like a globe. So that's the way I've got that set. Um, so I've got it set so that it's like too high and a circle um, in Open XCOM. And I think it's a, just brilliant. Brilliant. Oh, okay, so we still have a tentaculate over there that I don't want to mess with. Um, let's get iron in here. I do want to keep eyes looking over this direction. And we're going to get some guys up in the... Up into the control room. Probably following our taste off. Ellis, come help this way. Alright, how's our other guides doing? Okay. J. Perro. Um, I think we'll have you go help clear the upstairs again. Alright, then did we get a break? This guy is still ours. Okay, next turn, please. Moving around and nobody's being spotted. Okay, just continuing on here, let's give. Nightmare, a chance to control that taste off. Okay, not looking there. How about Winter Grave? Yeah. So, the other thing about doing a mission like this, the way we're doing it, it can. can oh, whoa, ho, 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 ho. There we go. Another tentaculate. He's hiding up in the control space. Uh, I don't like him there. Let's see if we can grab him. The other thing is that when you do this, it can kind of be... Okay, let's just admit it. It's really overpowered. Yeah, it is. Um, because there's a tentacle up there. We're just going to scout with this guy. Okay. Tentacle up there. Is there anybody up here? Usually there's not. There may be. Okay. Just bring you back down, bring you out, bring you down, and come hang out over there. Good. Okay, so we got two guys. It's a little overpowered. You know, it's like, oh, um, it's no challenge, no danger. Well, we know that's not exactly true because it's, it's always dangerous. But if you control every enemy you see, well, yeah. So he did spot, oh, spotted another aqua toy back here. Okay, good enough. Good enough. We know there's an aqua toy back there. Oh, and he can't go down. Huh. Oh, dang it. We're facing this thing again. There's probably a hallucinoid down here below this, uh, this level. They do that sometimes. Right in here, there's a hallucinoid, so you can't get down there. So... Tentaculate, come down here, please. Nice. Okay. Get everybody out. Keep your hands in the air. Don't keep every, keep your hands where we can see them. All right. And so you you grab everybody captive. We get a little practice here, and it can kind of just feel like okay, there's no more challenge anymore. Yeah, it's not exactly like there's no challenge, but it can definitely become. 
uber powerful squad leader. And you're not packing anything. Oh, maybe you've been panicking. That would be nice. You've lost about half of your health. Okay. So, squad leader. Come on down here and join the crew. Alright, now you're out of time. Okay. I do want to kill these guys. I want to kill them good. Yeah, I do. Alright. Um, I'm trying to think if I can line up enough shots to do it. All in one go. Uh, it's just the chip he went. Iron. And you spot. Ah! You spot the other one. That's what I was hoping you would do. Alright, let's see if we can shoot him because otherwise he might be a problem. Oh. Photo. Oh, you don't, you're not packing. Um, uh, don't have a, uh, a sonic pulse. We could toss a grenade down there and maybe take it out. Alright. Iron. Help me out, bro. Mm. I don't like that. Uh, iron. Drop that. Okay, your aim shot's a little better with that now. Okay, we got a hit into him. Let's see if we can grab it. Um, Barrett's done. Wintergrave might have a chance. Might have a chance. Yeah, skill's not super strong. Okay, iron. Can you pick that up? You can't. Alright, you're kind of stuck there. Her. Alright, Ellis. Come there, look that way. Mr. Bad News. Let's go ahead and reload you. Hmm, could I get a disruptor down there. I think I might be able to. And I'm a, it's worth it. I don't want to deal with it. Launch torpedo. Come over here. Launch torpedo. Go to there. Go to here. 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 And here. It's always good to have a backstop on your torpedoes so that they actually bust something. Nice. Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. So, Ellis, come over there. You will help take shots next time. We'll control some folks. I think I want to kill these uh, tentaculates for sure next time. Alright, next turn. They saw a soldier. <laughs> That's kind of cool. So this hallucinoid was able to move over here and kill this aquatoid who was sitting here through this corner. All right. Okay. So let's see. Bellaskid, your snaps are your aim shots pretty good. Well, I'm ready to take a couple of snaps and snap this guy. Nice. Not enough for a second snap. All right. Displacer. Roll the dice. Okay, that's right. Nice work. Okay, so we killed those guys. I think we'll continue to abuse that poor Tesaw. So there's a Tesaw somewhere else going berserk. Alright, yeah, Tesaw, let's come up here. You're almost out of energy. Not enough energy? Maybe I should take a step. Okay, come over there. Go down. Yes! So this hallucinoid is in here now, um, and he'll probably kill the Tesla. But we can get in there at least. Okay. And we may even be able to shoot in through that corner or something. Anyway, we'll try the displacer to do that a bit. Next time, uh, iron. Good spot, man. Grab that. Let's come on down here. Ah, uh, there's a Tesla that was going berserk. Perfect. To me. Let's practice, man. Get some practice. Practice. Oh, nice. Got him. 
He's, he's a Tesaw soldier, he was going berserk, he was freaking out. Tesaw? Come look over there. Go up a level. Okay, so there's more rooms and stuff. We will have to clear all of that. But I, I, I'm going to hope that the aliens are just going to come down to us. Um, so run back over there. Well, alright, stay there. We'll have to get you next turn. We know there's a guy down there. Alright, we have accounted for every alien we've spotted so far, and that's good. Alright, Ellis. You're good, Chibi. You're good. Mr. Bad News. Come on down here, too. Good. Poor Tetsov. You don't even have enough energy to turn around and see your doom. Hmm. Alright, Barrett. I think you guys are good. And Tom. Upstairs. Zip. Nobody there. Put that way. Let's clear this side around. Okay, good. So that room is clear for sure. There are some doors that go out to the other area. Okay. And JP. Reload you. Nice. Okay. Next turn, please. Another squad leader. He's panicked. Okay. That's a hallucinoid dying to the... I mean, that's the Tesoth dying to a hallucinoid. Look there. Oh, you can spot him through the corner. Yes! Snapshot that Joker many times. Okay. That is good. Um, he's still going to be a pickle to deal with, but we will be able to deal with him, I think. Okay. Um, so having said that, let's come down here. So there's a Tesla squad leader. And he's probably in one of these other rooms. Like upstairs or something. Oh yeah, we had a guy over here in the last area that we had to deal with. Oh! We dropped... We probably uh, stunned a taste off there when we blew up the, the DPL. Which is also a side benefit of that. Yeah, we blew this up right here and killed the tentacular, and we got that. Next turn, photo. Come on down a little bit. Oh, and we did destroy a corpse there. What do we got up there? A sonic repulsor. It's useful. Alright. Okay, Mr. Bad News. Hmm. Chibi, let's try the molecular control of this guy. Okay, you blast her, and that's fine. Um, Barrett, I do want to. I do want him to come help us deal with this hallucinoid. You can come over here. Over here. Fine. Ellis Kid, you can help us watch this direction. Okay, we will send somebody up there in a while. Should be good, Barrett, I think. Alright, let's just try to control a chunk of this hallucinoid. Okay, so we got that part. We got that part. So now if I tell. It's, we can see it's a hallucinogenic terrorist. We can see it's taking a little bit of damage. What does it got? Uh, health. 120 health. Wow. Um, it's armor's not great. Oh, I can move it around. Oh, go up. Nice. Come out where I can get you. You spot some. Oh, you spot yourself. <laughs> That's the funny thing about these four core units is they, when you actually see them too, they spot themselves. But when you when you control part of them, now we're, I don't know if we can just control enough of it. Okay, stab it. Let's see. Take a little more damage. Stab it again. It's taking a bit of damage every time. Uh, the the beauty of this is the attack takes like almost zero 
uh, action points. Excellent! Oh gosh, that is a good, that's a good thing. Alright, Mr. Patton, or Iron, I think I'm just have you finish this Joker off. Next turn. Perfect! Oh, this is going good. Tathos Squad here. Okay, he's up in the blackness somewhere. That's good. Tom, you will help me spot him. Let's just dig him. Okay, he's not right there, but I think he's over here. Okay, so that would be a job for JP. Up a level. Not right there. Probably something. No, nothing else. Okay. That way and that way. These little spots. Right, keep, no, you're good. You're gonna have to hang there. Ellis, I'm gonna have you come on up. Maybe next turn. Maybe next turn. Photo, I think I'm gonna have you go assist. Okay. Bad news, who are you spotting? Ah. You. Okay, you again. Alright, Displacer, you can come up and we'll go really clear this, this room again. Up a level, come up here, just kind of verify again that there's nobody there, and up a level. Okay, we are in the control center. Like I said, there's not often aliens here, but there can be. Chippy. Come on down. Help me look this way. Bad news, help me look that way. Ellis, you're good. Uh, and I think everybody's good as much as I want to do the next turn, please. Oh! <laughs> cheeky! Cheeky fucker! So that Taysoff is somewhere up here and he tried to mind control or panic J. Perro. Oh, what a joker. Alright. Tom, come this way. Come over here. Not there. It could be out of here somewhere. Is he? Where is he? There he is. Oh gosh, alright, now, Mr. Barrett, any chance that you can grab him? He's got some decent size uh, molecular control. Well, at least, yes you can, you are uh, a uber wizard. Okay, I think, Tom, um, squad leader, JP, okay. JP, you'll just stab him next turn. I think this is the last guy, at least I hope it is. Okay, and attack. And attack. Alright, cross his fingers. Yes, last alien. Excellent work. Aliens killed 31, 34 corpses recovered. Ah, live aliens, one. Artifacts recovered, and we destroyed the Synonium device. Look at, the, look at all the points out of that, it's crazy. Iron beam accelerators, magnetic nav, subnavigation, aquaplastics, alien reanimation zone. Sweet! That's awesome. And that is a good thing. So we will um, continue on in our next episode. We will be doing some research. And okay, I'll put this out here now as a question. At this point, we have what we need to get the tech to win the game. And I'm really kind of just considering skipping almost the rest of tactical missions until the very end, which will be a long, long mission. This one took four episodes. The last one will probably take six or more episodes. And we have an alien colony here. And we have supply ships that will be landing there, which are a great way to get money and resources. 
And we could take down supply ships, and we could attack the alien colony and um, go through a mission similar to what we did this time. A surface mission with a bunch of nasty stuff in pyramids and then down below, and it's even worse than what we were seeing today. We could do all that in, in an alien colony, um, but I'm really kind of leaning against it. If you really, really, really want to see that, leave a comment below saying, hey, let's take down a colony, or um, let's take another supply ship, or well, let's just go to finish the game, because that's kind of where I'm leaning, just to, to uh, move the episodes along. However, this will end this episode of Rockin' the Oldies. If you would like to join the ranks of our XCOM team, please leave a comment below. This episode of Rockin' the Oldies, a retro Let's Play with Ivan Dogovich, has been brought to you by Darkcraft.net, the XCOM subreddit, and Canon Hammonds. Viewers like you make this series possible. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. This is Ivan Dogovich. Cheers! Cheers!